Hi guys! Welcome to Glitzy Mary! Oh my god guys. I just want to say that I really appreciate all my viewers that are still subscribed. I have to say thank you so much because I'm starting this channel and I know I'm only doing videos once a month, but I am selling the jewelry that you see here. And as well, I make jewelry. So I am coming from the garage today because my husband has fixed it up. And I know the lighting is bad because in the interim of fixing it, you know what happened? My ring light broke. So the lighting might be a little off, but I just want to tell you that I am so appreciative of you. And I don't know if you guys like me this way or if you prefer my hands. I'm thinking I might do the next one with hands. But uh, I have another one, another one pounder to make the video short. And then I have some more jewelry coming. And then I just miss my, <laughs> my Goodwill purchase. <laughs> the time passed and I just realized, oh my God, a blue box. I wanted to get a blue box today. But in any event, I just want to say thank you and thank you for your patience and thank you for coming back. And this is where I sit down and I could come up with creative ideas of doing jewelry and also to make these jewelry videos for you. I do make bracelets, I do make necklaces and I do plan to sell that and open up a shop soon. Everything is a process. Um, but when I do, I will link it and let you guys know. For now, if you like anything, just email me at glistymeddy at gmail.com. That email is new. Um, I'm not sure if anyone has emailed me there. Um, I noticed that I don't get, I get notified on my phone that an email came in. And then I'm not able to view it on my phone. So, you know, all of this technology is new to me. And all of this process of doing YouTube videos that's new to me. So that's why you might see, you know, lapse in time and whatever. So for that, I apologize. But as time goes on, I will get better at this. I promise. Okay. And um, I do know a little bit about jewelry, but I'm also learning about jewelry. And so share your knowledge. And also, I really would love for you guys to interact with me as well. You know, send me messages so I can read them and tell me which piece you like. Or, you know, you can give an honest opinion too. If you didn't like it, if, you know, don't be negative in a way where it's destructive, but you can give constructive criticism because constructive criticism helps someone grow and it, it you know, it gives you wisdom. And if you have wisdom on, on jewelry and, you know, where I can purchase more, you know, bigger bags or boxes even if you know that knowledge help me out help a sister out you know we're all here to help each other out and learn from each other in this world that's the beauty about being human and open and not judging and just we're here to learn from each other and love each other as much as we can so with that note i did get a little one pound i'm not going to show the other side because that's the address but i will tell you this came from Ohio and I'm not showing the person because it, it doesn't tell me the shop name when these packages come it's only showing me the person's home so that's why I don't want to I don't want to you know show that information I don't know why um, but that's what it's showing so um, if they don't have a PO box or a business address then I don't want to you know show it but um, I did get this one from I want to say it was eBay, eBay. Now, the la I also want to explain the last jewelry haul that I did was the short one. I reached out to the person who sold me that purchase and informed them that they had falsely advertised, um, you know, vintage items. And I didn't report them because you know, I want to be fair to everyone that's learning in this business as well. You know, sometimes English is the second language of somebody, just like it is for me. And so, you know, sometimes we might say something is vintage and we don't know that it's not vintage. It's, you know, vintage, I think, is something over 50 years. And then um, antique is something over 100. 
So there's a lot of jewelry out there that's vintage looking. And so I just told the person, you know, you sold me some Timo pins. Um, and when I calculated the amount, you know, that I had shown, I kind of paid like maybe $2 extra for it. So the, I don't know why she did that. Cause I think I, she, she, um, she really didn't get a profit from it. So I kind of found weird that you would sell and not get a profit from it. But anyway, I'm going to open this. It's a small little bag, but I want to share all that information with you because I want you guys to be honest, you know, with you guys. And um, I let you see that I'm opening the package. I'm sitting uh, facing the camera because I'm able to also, I, I put it so that I could see myself on the TV to make sure that I was angling the jewelry, but my TV just froze, so that didn't work. And she did package it nicely. This is a different person um, that I bought from. It's the first time I'm opening this. This one said um, that you possibly could find signed jewelry and also that it's in good condition and nothing is broken. So that's what I'm gonna to relate to you that that's what they posted on this one. So let's see, um, nothing was individually wrapped. So I'm just gonna pour it out into a tray here. You can see, and it's not much. I, again, this is a pot one pounder. I have another bag coming um, and we'll see how that one goes. So right off the bat, I'm seeing a little bracelet. That's a charm bracelet. And it has these acrylic beads that are tan and white. They have like a little vein going through them that's tan. It has a bunch of cute little charms. And I'm gonna put it on this thing here so you guys can see a little better. I like it, it's really cute. Very cute. I hope you guys can see that because the lighting here, again, is not perfect, but I will be getting better lighting and hopefully the videos will get better again. So that's the first item. I really like it a lot. And here we have a string of beads and they're in good condition. So I definitely could craft with this. Uh, she didn't say it was craft items. That's why I got this bag too, because it wasn't supposed to be craft items, but I am getting, you see what I'm talking about? You know, that's the stuff that kind of upsets me a little bit. Not a lot, because I know that these, you know, this is just custom jewelry, and maybe in the custom jewelry, I'll find something of value. And I didn't pay a lot for this bag. And then here's a little bracelet with, um, beads going all around it. I hope you guys can see that. And it looks like it has a ribbon tied around the metal. And it's, it's still glued on perfectly. It's like a lime green. I hope you guys like the view behind me. That picture right there is a drawing that my daughter did many many years ago that's my oldest daughter's drawing all of my daughters are um artistic they all are great drawers or draw beautiful i have one that does um comics you know i forget the name of it but she does comic books kind of like that um like disney characters type of drawings she's been doing that since she was little she's still working on it and she has her own online thing and then she does that and she does beautiful work and she also does like um a lot of nature pictures you know like in the forest and all that so she did do a giant painting for me and i'm my house is so small i live in a very small house it's a three bedroom but it's a very tiny um home it's almost like an Airbnb, oh, I hope I'm saying that correctly, but it's um, the main bedroom, which is my bedroom, is the biggest one, and then the other bedrooms are very small. And I have my youngest daughter living with me and my husband right now. 
So we utilize the garage because this is where my husband works and this is where I work and I use my my talents, which has always been jewelry um, and arts and crafting things. Okay, sorry, I know I'm talking a lot today, but I just wanted to interact with you guys and make you feel, you know, special and know that I really value you and I just want to be really open with you guys. So um, here we got some little stud earrings. They're really cute. I'm not sure if they're epoxy. Looks like it could be epoxy or glass, but hopefully you can see that. And I'll wait a couple of seconds so the camera can focus. There you go, isn't that pretty? Very pretty. I like that she sent cute little things. It's not, it's not, I'm not seeing anything of, you know, value here. I mean, not that it does have value. I'm not saying, I mean like something that's really vintage and collectible is what I'm trying to say. Here's a graduated beaded necklace. And um, these are acrylic, but it's real pretty. And I'm gonna say that this is probably, oh, did I, oh, let me measure this. Let me measure this for you so that you know how long this is. This is 18 inches. And then I have my friend back here which I can put it on and let's see how it looks. And I think, let me see if I can grab it without her falling off. Very nice, it's like a bone color. Sorry for my accent. Um, well, I shouldn't say sorry for my accent. I'm just saying I have a strong accent sometimes. And then we have a clamper bracelet, which I love the clamper bracelet. You guys know I love clamper bracelets. It opens up like that. And look at how pretty that is. And I was going to use this to show you bracelets. That's what that looks like. It has like mother of pearl shells. It's sturdy. I don't see a name brand on it. Uh, you know, like a logo that I can see of who made it. And it clamps right there with that hook. Just press on it, it pops open. And let's see how much, give me a second here. Let's see. What size it goes up to? Six and one quarter. So if you have a six and one quarter wrist, that you fit you. And then it looks like we have a statement necklace here. Let's put her on over here. Let's bring this up so you guys can see. This is not a good one for me to show it on, but at least today you get to really see it that's beautiful 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 look at that look at those rhinestones it has gunmetal black necklace or chain it's a glass hook in the back and it's beautiful it looks like piano keys right that's a beautiful necklace and it's really in good condition. If you guys wanna, I can start putting a price on these like uh, when I edit, so that if you're interested. I have stopped doing the prices, but I guess I can do prices for you guys. And I got another little pin. And it's pearls. Full pearls, gold tone. It's not a old piece, it's a modern piece. But nonetheless, it's in great condition and it's brand new. Well, it looks almost brand new. Beautiful. 
And then what else do I see here? I see a pair of earrings. Let's see, I see a pair, one, one pair. Here's, here's another, here's a pair of, these are possibly vintage. And when I say that, it's because, look at how beautiful those are. But if one is missing the full pearl, and is the kind of screw back. Um, that is fixable if I have, I don't have tiny little pearls like that. That's too bad. Well, that will go on a craft lock. And then we have a pin that looks like it was someone was creating they put some little dry flowers and then it has a piece of paper in the back that's kind of like coming off but nevertheless you see the glue there <laughs> that's why these halls are fun sometimes because you see little things like this and you're like oh no but you know what if this is for fun too you know like this is not just business this is also me loving jewelry and wanting to share the love of jewelry with others that love jewelry as well here i have a bracelet a stretchy bracelet very nicely made um it's acrylic and they use like these ch champagne kind of goldish color it's little seed beads and it's double. And that's what it looked like. It still has a good stretch. Yep. Let's see what else we've got here. I'm seeing a single a gold tone chain. It's in great condition. I do not see that it's, you know, worn or anything like that. Um, let me look at it with the loon or my little eye seeing, my second pair of eyes here. Sometimes gold tone could be gold fill or it could be sterling silver, gold over sterling silver. This one is just a custom one, but it's in great condition and I think um, I should be able to put a charm on that, maybe. Or just use it like that. Some people like, this one looks very old and the reason why I say it's old because see the clasp? It's the kind, these are so hard to like put on and take off because you kinda have to like Hold it here down, then you pull it out. You see that? You hold it down at the edge, you pull it out, and then you slide it out. The good thing about it is that it has great security. So if you put it on right, it will last, you know, for it to fall off, it will be very hard. It's little. I'm going to say that this is... Um, even for a kid or something. Very small neck. I don't even know. It's not, it's too big to be an anklet. And I don't even know if it fits a child's neck or if this got broken down and made smaller, but it is real pretty. It's a rope. So that's that one and here we have a big leaf I don't know what this leaf is not a pin oh it is a pin I lied it's a pin it doesn't have a logo of who made it 
Although I see some indentation back here, but it's not, it's just the metal. And it's very pretty, very shiny. It has rhinestones in it. It doesn't look like any are missing. Very pretty pin. That's a nice pin like for, you know, let's discuss pins a little bit because you see this pin, you're saying this is so big. How would I use this? Well, in the winter time when you have a wool coat that has lapels or, you know, it has the flaps like this, you can put it like that. Pins can also serve um, in the winter time, like that's the way I used to use them, is I would have my scarf on and then I would put a little pin to keep the scarf from blowing away in the cold. That's when I used to live in Massachusetts. Or um, if they're little pins, they, you can just dress them up. Or some people like pins in their hats to decorate their hats um, or even their jean jackets. So you can use pins for a variety of things. You can use them to decorate something. If you're artistic and you love drawing and you know you do those type of artwork that is 3D that comes out or it's a material or whatever, you can use that for that. So um, also you can use pins you know, like this for craft projects around the house. Like you did something, a vase or something for flowers and you use material and you want a, a nice piece of jewelry on it to pop out, you know, that's a great way of using, using pins as well. And I've come to really appreciate them um, now that I, you know, I've been doing these videos more because I used to be into pins when I was in my early teen, teens. I used to have them a lot. I had a lot of those stick pins. And then in my early 20s, I kind of moved away a little bit from it, but I still was into the necklaces and all of that. But, um, you know, and now that I'm older and that I'm doing all this jewelry, I've been collecting them to put them on my hat that I have back here. Because just to collect and have a hat full of pins for a decorative piece. But here's a pendant that's very beautiful. Um, there is some wear in the back. Sometimes it's just dirty and you just need to wipe it. But it has like an... Um, a B little rhinestone and it's really really pretty I like it a lot I have a similar necklace that has a rose but mine's a sterling silver this one looks like it's made from pewter um, and I'm gonna try to clean it beautiful piece it should be on a necklace here I have a tiny little um, Trying to see if these are real, but they're not. They're full pearls. Just because of the color, it looks like I thought maybe they were real pearls, but it's not. They're full pearls. And again, this was a little tiny person's neck, probably a child, and it looks like the class broke. So again, this person on the ad said that there was no broken pieces, no, un no unbroken pieces, no unbroken pieces. And again, I feel that that is so wrong. You shouldn't say that if you were gonna put something in the bag that has that. So, you know, I'm sorry. I'm venting and I shouldn't vent because I only paid for one pounder and I didn't pay a lot, so. But I do like this one a lot, the one that I'm about to show you because I'm gonna put it on my friend here. On my tan friend lives next to me. I'm blackie. I'm my wooden friend. Oh, doesn't do justice there. Let me try over here. Because I really want you to see this piece. I love it. It's gorgeous. That is beautifully made love it it's in metal pieces it has a rose it has a leaf and um i forgot the name a hibiscus flower and another leaf beautifully beautiful beautiful it even looks like real sterling but i don't think it is 
Again, I think it's a pewter because of the tone. You see the tone of the color of the metal? That's how I know. Okay. And it looks like we have another statement necklace here with some spikes. Kind of bronzy. So cute. And it has rhinestones, as you can see. Has that antique bronze. Beautiful. This one looks like it's 18 inches, just like the metal one that I just showed. And I get the feeling that I also got, I'm looking at this tray right now, missing earrings. So I have a pair of rhinestone earrings, a pair of matching ones. These are nice. There's only like a little wear or tear or they just need to be wiped down. Hope you guys can see that. Very pretty. They're still in good condition or wearable, I should say. A single earring, no use. Another single earring, that's a cross and silver tone. Another pierce flower. And again, like this, this is a cute little piece that, like I said, that you can use, like to stick it onto something to decorate. Let's try right there, see? So I'll probably use that for artwork. And then this one's really nice, too bad it, it, it's missing. And that one is a screw back. So these screw back ones are usually very old earrings. Usually more than 20 years old. And it's beautiful leaf. And then it has the teardrops in gold. Too bad that this one didn't come. I really like that one a lot. Here's another one that would have been real, real pretty to have the pair. Look at all those beautiful colors. And again, I would use this for artwork. Here's um, another charm for a necklace. That's real pretty. And it looks brand new, like it was never used. And I feel, I wanna say like that's jade. Or chaldonite, not sure. And then we have a rope little bracelet here. It looks like at one point maybe it, it broke off or something or that link right there is silver. So I'm wondering if they just put a silver one. And it has an old, old clasp. This could possibly be gold filled just because of the clasp. So I'll have to take a look at that with my scope. And then here's another earring that I wish I had the pair, rhinestone. And then here's another pair of earrings with the lever back. If you wanna call that the lever back, I think that's what these are called. They're stuck. That's beautiful. That is acrylic. And that's it, folks. That was my haul. So what did I like from this haul? Definitely, definitely these two necklaces. This was my favorite. 
This one was my favorite beautiful piece. I like this, the clamper bracelet. I think that's a beautiful, I love that. I did like this pin a lot. I like the beads because I'm going to create something with these beads. I did like this little bracelet. I like these earrings. They're cute. And what else? I think that's it. That was the only thing I like that I like. So comment below. Oh, you know what else? Don't forget the pin. The pin was really nice. Thank you. Thank you for watching. To my next one, I should be having one, hopefully a little less than a month. I'm waiting for it to arrive. And hopefully that one will have better stuff. <laughs>